welcome to the video on extrapolation and regression study in stability analysis the video is also based on to the ICH guideline Q1E for evaluation of the stability data as we know that stability studies are done for the pharmaceutical formulations to ensure the product quality safety and efficacy over the shelf life over the expiry period or over the time all the formulations required to undergo the stability studies and after the satisfactory stability data the regulatory bodies approve the formulation or drug product for manufacturing and release in the market the stability analysis purpose is to predict the product behavior under different temperature and humidity conditions or under different to be encountered environmental conditions to meet the regulatory requirements the extrapolation and regression analysis is performed to forecast the stability data and to understand the stability so generally you can remember it as it is forecasting the future data or based on that forecasting you are checking or you are understanding about the future stability data and that's why how the product will behave under stability so what is stability analysis so by definition it is evaluation of physical chemical and microbiological characteristics of the formulation or drug or drug product over time period see the formulations are stored at different temperature humidity and light exposure conditions and stability analysis is done to evaluate the impact of these parameters or conditions onto the drug product quality it is required to determine the shelf life and to ensure compliance with the guidelines like ICH Q1A and all other regulatory guidelines from US FDA, EMA and country specific regulatory guidelines to ensure the product quality, safety and efficacy. Extrapolation in the stability studies is predicting stability performance beyond the tested time frames. So it is forecasting the data. So example you can say like uh, you are having the six month data of accelerated intermediate and long term you can say and now you want to predict how the data will be at 12 month. So by this extrapolation study you can predict the 12 month stability data based on to the six month data. So you will be having initial data. 3 month data, 6 month data, that data you will use to predict the 12 month stability data. So it has some advantages. Why, why extrapolation is to be done? Because it has some advantages. You can have the predictions for the shelf life at the time at which you are not reach now that means the advantage is extend shelf life predictions so you have six month data in hand but you can predict 12 month data it optimizes early product development decisions reduces time and cost of stability studies see stability studies are required to be performed it is not like that you are doing prediction and directly you are submitting it to the authority and authority is uh, approving it it is not like that but you can make some early decisions if you are in the phase of formulation development and you have six month data then you can predict 12 month data and you can have some uh, decisions like you are going 
with the formulation strategy or not you want to drop or you want to go ahead so prediction can be done with extrapolation but the real time stability studies are need to be performed reduces time and cost for stability studies so if you understand that this strategy will not work then you can drop the strategy and go to the other strategy so that it will reduce your time and cost common extrapolation approaches are linear extrapolation and non linear extrapolation so linear extrapolation means uh, it assumes constant degradation over time for example at the initial the impurity level was 0.1% after 3 months it went 0.2% uh, and at 3 months it went 0.3% so after 6 months that means at 12 months it may go like 0.6% 0.5% or 0.7% you can say so it is like uh 0.1% or 0.05% increase per month just example i am giving you you understand that it assumes the constant degradation rate over time so per month it is increasing then coming to the non linear extrapolation it is used when the data show non linear patterns that is exponential degradation it is not like that degradation will happen in a linear way somewhere sometime it may happen that at 3 month it was 0.3 at initial it was 0.1 at 6 month it may go beyond 0.8% or 1% or sometime it may decrease also so this thing may happen during the stability studies and during you analyze the stability data so non linear means it is not following the linear degradation or constant degradation here i have taken some images to make you understand about this linear and non linear approaches so linear means constant degradation and non linear means uh, it may increase suddenly or it may increase no uh, exponentially or sometime it may decrease also sometime for some time it will uh, follow the linear degradation and then it will uh, follow the exponential degradation so anything can happen regression study in the stability analysis is to understand the relationship between the stability factors like environmental conditions temperature humidity and it forecast product behavior under varying conditions types of regression models these are linear regression non linear regression multiple regression in linear regression it assumes direct linear relationship like temperature versus degradation rate non linear like for complex stability profiles non first order kinetics multiple regression analysis multiple factors impacting stability like temperature plus humidity so you can have uh, or you can use different types of regression models based on your requirement and product behavior coming to the guidelines for uh, this uh, regression analysis or evaluation of the stability data so icsq1 ar2 guideline is there for impurity related or stability testing of uh, new drug substances and products q1 a q1 b these are the guidelines icsq1 e is the evaluation of stability data similarly you can find the stability uh, guidelines by usfda by ema and U european requirements for stability guidelines are there icsq1 e guideline is there from icsh which is for evaluation of stability data it is uh, based on the fact that or on the science of using extrapolation to determine the shelf life and key areas of this guideline is uh, data analysis approaches and statistical criteria for the st stability data evaluation the main benefit of icsq1 is helps to establish product expiration dates accurately fda and ema also has guidelines there are some country specific guidelines also so the guidelines are there to ensure 
regional regulatory compliance and robust stability profiles of the formulations to ensure the safety and efficacy of the formulations. Also, these are considered for drug substances. Softwares are there for extrapolation and regression analysis. So many softwares you can find. Just I have enlisted here whatever the softwares I have found. Like JMP is there, Minitab is there, Stability Plus and Sigma plots are there. SPSS softwares are there. Many of the people might have used these softwares. Coming to the benefits of extrapolation and regression studies, so enhanced self life prediction is the advantage, cost effective stability testing, good product quality, regulatory compliance, and informed decision making. So it helps to the professionals to have good understanding about the product behavior and based on that they can take the decisions for formulation packaging and storage strategies coming to the challenges in extrapolation and regression studies so data quality is a very important thing reliable data is required the data should be accurate for predictions model selection and validation so right model should be there it is very critical to select the right model and it requires validation with real time data because it is not like that you are using the you are using uh, what i mean to say is like uh, you are using the accelerated stability data and you are uh, looking to predict uh, real time data or uh, room temperature data or long term stability data so you need to validate that model uh, with some data and then you can uh, have good prediction regulatory requirements so strict guidelines are there for extrapolation use so all these guidelines should be understood before using those uh, predictions or performing those prediction studies product complexity so as i told uh, some products are very complex in nature you cannot predict uh, the stability so real time data is required and many of the time it happens that the extrapolation fails so failure may also be there it is not like uh, you are working on to the models you have developed the model and it will the product will behave as per that um, prediction the product may get degraded or product may be stable also so it depends on the complexity of the product and depends also on the uh, uh, product behavior in the real time studies Best practices are there for uh, software use, so always have data, uh, ensure data is clean, consistent and reliable for analysis, check the variability in the data, then perform model validation, use real time data to validate predictions, documentation and compliance should be good, keep detailed records of outputs and assumptions. Whenever you are performing the uh, validation of model or you are predicting the data, keep the records so that in future you will require those records you will also understand how the product was uh, product behavior was there after six months and how the product is behaving after 12 months so keep all the data with you continuous re-evaluation it is very very important that you need to update models as new data becomes available Whenever you get the stability data, use that stability data and update your models. Best practices for extrapolation and regression studies. Collaborate with the experts. Many experts are there in the field of stability studies, statistics. Then some experts are there in the field of extrapolation studies, regression studies, regression studies. So connect with them. Collaborate, collaborate with them and do the predictions. Ensure data integrity. High quality data is essential for predictions. Otherwise, your prediction may go wrong. Validate models continuously. Use real time data to confirm accuracy. So, check whether that model or product is behavior, product behavior is similar uh, in the statistical way and also on the real time front. Monitor ongoing stability. Continue, continue to monitor the stability to ensure 
product quality over the shelf life period so this is regarding the extrapolation and regression studies always have good data accurate data always have good model fitting or validate the model continuously keep the records that is the best practice extrapolation and regression are the key for predicting shelf life ensuring product quality and meeting regulatory requirements so tentative shelf life you can get out of this modeling and you can document it but real time data is must so proactive stability management can be possible with these modelings and it leads to safe effective and high quality products for the patients you can also save your cost uh, you can save your time by using these models so you you please do comment how does your organization approach stability analysis also you can share your personal thoughts on this topic and i am sure that uh, everyone will get benefited out of it so thank you for being with me till the last or till the end of this video and i assure you in the upcoming time i will make more informative videos on these topics thank you for watching the video